Hi guys, and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And this one will be a special series. So in this video, I will be showing you how to trade in this cryptocurrency market. Papakita ko sa inyo ano mga intro na kailangan nyo malaman, ano yung mga indicators na pwede nyo gamitin, and as well as the different strategies na you can use in your crypto trading. So yeah, this will be a series, and of course, this will have multiple videos. And if you want to skip to a certain video, you could actually select the playlist. You can find that in the right side of your video. Or you can find that in the description down below for the full playlist. So if you want to skip a certain topic, just look for the playlist and select that specific video. So in this video, we'll start first with an intro to the cryptocurrency market and understand kung ano ba yung concept sa crypto trading market. So in this video, we'll talk about what is cryptocurrency, how can I make money from crypto, and what is altcoins. So let's start first with what is cryptocurrency. So let's say you have a Philippine peso or a US dollar. That Philippine peso and US dollar is governed by a financial institution. It is mandated by a government or meron siyang banks na nagahandle doon. And that's why it's called a fiat currency. So sa fiat currency merong med may merong middleman and that middleman is the financial institution. That's why it's called fiat currency. On the other hand, we have Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not controlled by anyone. It is decentralized and also it's a digital currency. That's why it's called a cryptocurrency or crypto. So since decentralized siya, it's actually a peer-to-peer -peer model, meaning you can send this directly to one person to another without having any financial institution or without the middleman like banks. So pwede ka na meron kang Bitcoin ngayon and then bibigyan mo siya sa isang specific person like example, isang merchant, the diretso mo yung Bitcoin mo, diretso dun sa specific merchant na yun. So yeah, that's basically a cryptocurrency. Decentralized siya unlike kay fiat currency na meron financial institution at centralized. Now, the next question is, how can I make money from crypto? So, let's use this Pokemon card concept. So, let's say you have this Charizard card na common siya everywhere. It is pretty common. And you can buy this at a normal price, which is 20 pesos. So, since the card is common, pwede mo siya ibenta kahit saan. Pero ang problema, since common lang siya, pwede mo siya ibenta at 20 pesos. Pero if, let's say, walang bumibili sa card na yun, pwede mo pa siya ibenta na mas mura, like 10 pesos, para lang mabenta mo siya. So, walang demand, pero maraming supply ng Charizard, kaya sobrang mura ng Charizard. Pero let's say, over time, nag-stop na yung production ng Charizard, or wala na masyadong Charizard card anywhere in the world. At kung yari, meron kang Charizard card. Of course, hindi mo na siya ibebenta na mura kasi sobrang rare na siya. So, in this case, you can sell this at a higher price. So, let's say, binenta mo siya at 50 pesos, so kasi sobrang rare na siya. So, selling it at a higher price will give you 30 pesos in profit. Kasi from the original price na 20 pesos, nabenta mo na siya ng 50 pesos, kumita ka ngayon ng 30 pesos. So right now, the market price when buying this Charizard card is now at 50 pesos. So nakita niyo yung concept. Bumili ka ng Charizard ng 20 pesos, tapos binenta mo siya ng 50 pesos kasi naging in demand na siya and naging rare na siya, nagkaroon ng scarcity. So meaning, ang trading basically bibili ka ng asset at a very low price and then sinasell mo siya pag tumaas na siya and then let's say hindi na siya rare naging common ulit si Charizard card you can now actually buy two more Charizard cards kasi meron ka na ngayon 50 pesos which is yung original price ng Charizard card which is 20 pesos pwede mo na siya ngayon mabilin dalawa kasi meron ka ng total of 50 pesos so you can now buy two Charizard card and then let's say nagmahal ulit siya so each Charizard card would now be 50 pesos each meron ka ngayon 100 pesos pag, pag nabenta mo yung dalawang Charizard card mo so you can see na yung trading na yun, you're actually making more money by buying this Charizard card at a cheap rate and then ibebenta mo siya at a higher rate. So the price of Bitcoin increases over time due to its scarcity and demand. And ito na yung concept ng Charizard card natin. When more people are buying and less people are selling, the price pumps. So meaning tumataas yung price ni Bitcoin kasi marami bumibili and syempre nagiging in demand siya. So, pag nagiging in demand, marami bubibili, nagiging rare na si Bitcoin, umuunti yung supply ni Bitcoin, so nag nagkakaroon ng scarcity sa Bitcoin. So, that's why tumataas yung price niya. In this case, that is called a bull market. So, pag tumaas yung price niya dahil marami bubibili at nagkakaroon siya ng more demand and less supply, nagkakaroon tayo ng bull market. Pero let's say, yung mga tao na bumili na yun, nakita na ngayon nila na, oops, mahal na si Bitcoin. So, now I guess it's time to sell my Bitcoin. So ngayon, ibebenta nila si Bitcoin at a higher price. Balikan natin yung concept na to. Bumili ka kay Bitcoin ng 20 pesos and then ngayon, naging in-demand siya, naging rare siya. 
So ngayon, may yung 50, yung Bitcoin mo na nabili mo na 20 pesos is now worth 50 pesos. Ngayon, pwede mo siya i-sell at 50 pesos at ngayon, kumita ka ng 30 pesos sa iyong Bitcoin. And ngayon, pag bumagsak yung price na yun, such as yung sinabi kong concept kanina, that one is now called a bear market. So meaning, bumagsak yung price niya and of course, everyone is selling their Bitcoin, nagkakaroon ng less demand and more supply ngayon ng Bitcoin. And then of course, pag bumagsak si Bitcoin, that would more likely the best time to buy para makakuha ka ulit ng mas mura and then you can buy more Bitcoin kasi mas marami na kinita mong pera. So yeah, basically that's trading in general. That's how you buy low and sell high and then re-enter another trade para bumili ulit ng Bitcoin and then isusell mo siya at a higher rate. Just like a Pokemon card, hindi lang naman Charizard card ang meron sa ating Pokemon cards, di ba? Meron din mga iba't ibang Pokemon cards like Pikachu. So in this case, sa crypto market, ang tawag sa mga iba't ibang cards na yon ay called altcoin. So, it's any other coin other than Bitcoin. So, yeah, any altcoin is any coin, basta hindi siya Bitcoin. And, and as long as tradable siya, that is considered as altcoin in the crypto market space. So, an example of an altcoin is Ethereum, Cardano, and Ripple XRP. At ang equivalent niya sa fiat currency are the Philippine Peso, Japanese Yen, and US Dollar. So, in basically, that's a quick crypto 101. And yes, yeah, sa next video, alamin natin kung anong type of trader ka at paano mo ba malalaman kung Kailan ba yung best time to sell and best time to buy following a specific strategy? So if you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye for now.